Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Hikinari and Anthony Koishiduru. And I still can't pronounce that. But anyway, um, yeah, so we just found out that we're the um, school president, um, school council president, and we used the vice president, and this here, his name I can't remember, clearly my character in my heart. <laughs> Who's <laughs> my supposed slave? But yeah, let's continue on. I get my voice prepared. Oh. <laughs> That's true for you, but I'm just. That's right. My popularity is genuine. All yours comes from misunderstandings. <laughs> you heard her. So, huh? This is just me. Are we having gloomy weather today? Weather's well, fine. You said to yourself earlier. Yes, how weird. The weather's nice. And yet, why does the air around me feel so gloomy? I wonder. Hey, you, so can I, like, beat you up? What? Of course not. Why do you want to beat me up all of a sudden? Because you have been the source over half of my problems since I was born. Did you get what you mean? Don't worry, it'll be fine. We're seen as good partners in school, so I'll be sure not to injure your face. Nobody will find out. <laughs> Are you some kind of delinquent? Of course not. I'm not a delinquent. I'm a healthy and exemplary female student. In appearance, that is. <laughs> That's so funny. If I really look like an exemplary student from appearance, then how am I different from you? Huh? In other words, I'm saying that you and I are the same. What of it? <laughs> you impress me. Just forget about it. Ryu hurried into her classroom for some reason. Oh, she's mad because he didn't notice her hint. <laughs> Wait a minute, what was that all about? You don't seem to be confident in yourself, Shuji Sama. What does this have to do with confidence? My popularity is just from misunderstanding. Everyone misunderstood and started acting this way towards me ever since. I just don't know what the misunderstanding is. I really want to know now. I'm really curious. I see. You're misunderstanding, huh? I should be heading to the gems room, so I'll take my leave now. Please do your best on your studies and sports. Yeah, sure. Going to class was obvious, of course. That said, I mustn't slack on preparing for the upcoming lessons. I also shouldn't slack on reviewing past ones, either. <laughs> Sounds like me, slacking hard at university. Oh dear. I wasn't very smart to begin with. <laughs> Unless I put in the extra effort, I won't be able to get decent grades. So I've always paid full attention during my classes. Alright, a lot of you for today. We'll be starting from Takitsura Masataka, setting up at the whiskey distillation factory in Yochi tomorrow. Sensei! What is it? Will the history of whiskey in Japan be on our exams? How should I know? Alright, classes are over. No more questions. I need to hurry back to the staff room. He actually said he doesn't know. As usual, another weird class. <laughs> My preparations for this class were completely useless. He didn't follow the textbook one bit. Yeah, I'm sure no one could tell that we're actually having chemistry lessons. <laughs> well, he, he was teaching about chemical symbols until halfway through the class. Well, it's quite a radical approach for him to use the example of fermenting alcohol to teach chemical formulas. I think using examples from everyday life to teach is a magnificent idea. So are you. Yes? Were you listening to the class from the hallway again? Yes, because I'm a janitor and not a student. I'll be happy as long as I can just listen to the lessons. But I don't think you should be sitting out on your heels on the floor outside. You could just listen while standing, you know. How oh, 
terribly crude and uncivilized. I believe one should maintain courtesy and sincerity when attending lessons, as that is the, is the proper way a person who seeks knowledge should act. Really? I don't like her. It didn't sound like a reason to be sitting on the floor in the hallway while listening to the lessons to me, but I suppose there's nothing I could do about it. Simagu had no parents. I'm not quite sure about the details. She wasn't very willing to talk about it, and there's no way I can force her to tell me something like that. But it looks like it's related to her financial constraints which forced her to drop out of school. Too depressing. Earning a living was one of the reasons she had chosen to work for this school as a janitor, but she also wanted to fill her wi fulfill her wish of continuing her studies. She wanted to get back where she, what she couldn't learn during her time as a student. Oh well. Anyway, I'm getting hungry. But you've only had one class. Sounds like me again. <laughs> I'm not asking for your opinion. Hurry up and go buy me some bread. How am I supposed to do that? The school store is never open yet. You just said anything about the school store. I'm telling you to run to the bakery in front of the train station. And why? Give me a reason why I have to run that to that ah, to place that far. <laughs> because the bread in the bakery is more delicious. That's not the point. Besides, you ate breakfast, didn't you? I honestly wonder about the volume of your stupidity. <sighs> yes, I ate breakfast. But what does that have to do with me being hungry now? How can you not understand something this simple? You lost me. Huh? Oh, uh, the bell rang. Now you can't go outside and buy the bread anymore. Yeah, it's class time, all right. So sit down already, Ryu. I remember this. I'll hate you forever for missing that chance to get me bread. Don't hate me forever for something like that. Right? Like it's not even my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, that was a roar. <laughs> she seemed to be glaring at me. For as long as I've known her, Ryu has always gotten hungry easily. Despite how she looks, Ryu eats like a horse. <laughs> her meal is a staggering portion, but she still gets hungry often and often and often. That aside, how does she maintain her slim figure while being such a glutton? It's like a typical cliche, though. That's why. Maybe it's a kind of special ability she possessed. Hey, are you alright, Yukawa? Yes, is there a problem? Well, uh, you see... Is there a problem? Oh, no. Is there a problem? Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Her insistence was so overwhelming, even the teacher shrank back and asked no further questions. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ryu's tongue continued to bellow. Her attitude was imposing, but I can see signs of her cheeks flushing. I believe she was actually getting quite embarrassed. She probably felt that way because people believed she was refined. Still, her grumbling tummy became a cute trait of hers and one of the many reasons why she was so popular. Really? Really? <laughs> Damn, I didn't expect her to be this hungry. <laughs> Now I feel a little bad for her. <laughs> After second period ended, I did some light exercise. I ended up being late for third period. Class ended with me for still feeling worn out. After lunch and afternoon classes, all that was left was our student council work. To be honest, I was more suited to join the Go Home Club, but since I was the student council president, I had no choice. <sighs> a mountain of documents stood in front of me. The cultural festival was during near, so it was natural that the number of documents I had to handle would increase. The stack handed to me by the cultural festival staff reached halfway to the ceiling, and taking care of it was extremely troublesome. You should leave that for last. It would be unhealthy for you to overwork yourself. But you actually care about me? <laughs> That's a good idea, but it's alright. Thanks for the concern. I said you should leave that for last, so stop it! You're ordering me? I heard you could survive after bathing yourself in radiation, but you'll still die if you forced yourself too much. My cockroach or something. Huh? What do you mean, her? You look like an ob- You look like an obvious fact has just been proven wrong to you. But is it an obvious fact? I could strangle you! You're the one who started calling me a cockroach this morning! 
isn't. But, but that. But, but that's the way because you. Oh, God. God. That's because you seem that way to me. Stop it! I see. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best not to think of you like that anymore. Come on. Do I look like a cockroach struggling for its dear life? Do I look black, <laughs> oily, and shiny? Have antennae and six limbs? A little? <laughs> I'm, <n> I'm <laughs> I'm not black at all. I'm not oily and shiny. And I don't have antennae on all six limbs. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. I'm just joking. You're not black, oily, or shiny. You don't have antennae either. But I don't know about your limbs. I know you have at least five. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That extra leg of yours. <laughs> I don't have six limbs. Can't you tell just from looking? How can I tell if you're clothed? Um, maybe if you take your clothes off, they'll pop out from your back. <laughs> don't make me imagine that. <laughs> anyway, I'll take care of it. Just get naked and sit on your heels over there for now. <laughs> and why do I have to sit on my heels naked? Who knows? Probably to check if you have limbs growing on your back. I'm not quite sure myself either. You're the one who brought this up, so why are you clueless about it? Anyway, just go rest on the sofa. I'll take care of the rest. Wait, you've been working for long, as long as I have. Don't worry, what you and I are made of are completely different. While you're spewing blood on a task, I'll dance the Nutcracker Ballet elegantly while doing the same task. I feel like seeing that now. <laughs> I'm just joking, I can't do ballet, but I can do the job while destroying your wrist. Would you like to have a demonstration of that? Uh, no, thank you. I can do martial arts, but I can't do elegant things like ballet, you know. <laughs> well, I didn't doubt that she's good in martial arts. Ryu couldn't do ballet, but I believe she can dance very well. I've seen her dance many times in the summer festival in her village. A family operate a shrine and the martial arts you practice have been passed down from generation to generation. If you drop that abusive tongue of yours, I'd actually say you're elegant. Uh, I see. Yeah. I've seen you dance on the summer festival many times too. I see. <laughs> Awkward. How long are you going to keep staring at me? I'm going to stab you in the eyes. Why? It, it, it just makes me mad! Ryu turned away with a displeased expression on her face. Her cheeks were faintly red, but I couldn't tell if it was because of the evening sun rays. One more thing. What is it? If I, I give you my thanks for what you did earlier. Huh? What did I do? About, about the bread. You went to the train station and bought it for me after the second period, right? Well, you're the one that ordered me to. It was just a joke! That's why I told you right when the break was about to end. I didn't expect you to go running off the minute the second period ended. Well, I, I can't just ignore someone whose tummy's grumbling non-stop now, can I? <laughs> I? I see. You never change, do you? You're always so... Her voice was really faint, so I couldn't quite hear what she said. Huh? What is that? Uh, no, it's nothing! Forget about it, I was just talking to myself. I, I was saying that you never change, do you? You're always so insensitive. I hope you would stop listening on others when they're talking to themselves. If that's the case, then say it in a way that I won't be able to hear. That's why I whispered. You're not the one who's just won't stop asking about it. Fine, fine, I get it already. I wish you're getting more agitated all of a sudden. And anyway, rest and think of this as a token of my gratitude. Just, just go take a break. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Of, of course I'm worrying about it. I have common sense too, you know. Common sense, huh? If, if I owed you something, I wouldn't be able to go out all out and insult you anymore. My conscience would hold me back. <laughs> what? That's so mean. Such an underhanded mean comment. That has nothing to do with common sense! If, if I don't owe you anything, I can insult you until you're emotionally impaired. Isn't that going a bit too far? Uh, 
I decided to do what she told me. This was her expression of gratitude, after all. Besides, I didn't have the courage to decline Ryu's kindness. It would have been better if I just indulged in it. I'll be taking a rest, then. Oh, now, now that I think about it, I have something to ask you. Have you heard about that rumor? Poor rumor. It seems as though there are more and more cases of our students being picked on by students from another school. Our students? Why? I have no idea. I just, I just heard about it. So I'm asking if you know anything about it. Nope. I've never heard anyone say anything like that. Still, the delinquents around this area should have been wiped clean several years back by Ryu, and there shouldn't be any of their scrubs left. Well. If they aren't just rumours, the problems will inevitably re reveal themselves. We'll think about it when the time comes. Just be sure not to act recklessly, Ryu. I, I know that, at least. Now then, I'll be resting for a bit like you told me to. Shoji sama are you taking a rest? Oh yeah, since uh, Ryu asked me to. <laughs> I see. Then please go to the sofa over there. Oh, it's alright. I'll just rest on my seat. All of a sudden, Sumagu hugged my head from behind. <laughs> what is it? You won't listen to what I say, so I have no choice but to forcefully carry you to the sofa. And how do you intend to do that? By grabbing onto my head? I... Oh, I can feel Sumagu's breast pressing against the back of my head. I'll, I'll move by myself. Is that so? And please lay your head down over here. Wait, why am I laying, your head, why, laying down on your lap? I'm a maid. I think of helping you. I think. Ah, 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 thinking of helping you clean your ears. <laughs> Maids have nothing to do with cleaning ears. What on earth are you saying? What on ears? I mean, what on earth are you saying? Ah, oh, this weird Japanese reference that went over my head. <laughs> Skip that. <laughs> are you still going on about with that slave thing? By the way, there are many combinations of maid styles in history. It all started from air cleaning maids, then massaging maids, salon maids, hostess maids, and then bed maids. What's with the last one? That sounds terribly wrong. Though. It may have gone a little off topic, but air cleaning tasks are suitable for maids. It's a universal fact of maidology, and has stood the test of time. I called bullshit on that. What the heck is maidology? In any case, please relax yourself. As she said that, she forcefully pressed my head onto her thighs. Wait a minute, Tsumugu! Please try not to move or else my ear cleaning stick will turn you, turn into an ear piercing gay bog. If anyone's watched um, Fate Zero or Fate Stay Night, you know what that is. Basically, um, some sort of legendary Irish weapon spear. There you go. But why would it turn into a spear of impaling barbed death if I just moved a little? Please, don't move! Ah! I can't just stay like this. Hey, so it Whoa! Huh? Huh? What happened? Why is it so dark? Why is it so stuffy? What did you do, Sumagu? Uh, 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 wait a minute! Uh, uh, you, you cut yourself under my skirt! Huh? I heard something that was way out of my imagination. I, I got myself under your skirt? Whoa! Crap! Crap! I panicked from the darkness so I didn't realise it, but now that she mentioned it, I can feel a completely different sensation pressing against my cheek. The fabric texture from a while ago disappeared. In its place is the refreshingly cool and smooth sensation of her skin. In short, my cheek was pressing against Sumagu's thighs. No, this is this is bad! We can't do this in a lawful space in the student council room! I don't, I don't do services like this! Ah! Wait, just calm down! I'm being pressed down, and that's why I can't move right now! I'm not pressing on you! Uh, no, no way! No, no, please stop! Forgive me! I'm sorry! Her cool thighs were now slowly gathering warmth. <laughs> I could hardly hear myself above my racing heartbeat. No, I doubt anyone could understand what I yelled either. Choosy summer! Choosy summer! 
I see. See you get turned on by preferred play like this. Huh? <laughs> Sumugu, who was struggling wildly just to go, came to a stop suddenly. She then fixed her skirt, returning to it to how it was before. This morning I heard from Aikasama, the joke criminal choose you some So that's how it is. But, what? Wait, you're wrong. I see. I'll study more about it before my next attempt. I'll have to note this down so I can add it to my service menu. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is a maid's duty to do whatever it takes to satisfy her own his wishes. In short, it's the way of the maid. You sneaky bastard. You sneaky sumugu. Wait, I think you're misunderstanding something. I wasn't doing what what you thought I was doing. And I'm not a criminal. Oh, so you're saying sticking your head under a girl's skirt isn't a crime? <laughs> oh, God, Ika. Sure is nice greeting your sister with an oak, ain't you, son? <laughs> and there stood Ika, literally fuming as she smashed the wall with her fist. Our school was separated into two campuses, but for some reason the building for the student council room was set up right in the middle, thus it was shared by both. In other words, the student council room on Ika's side was just a wall away. Any noises here could be heard easily there. If things bustle up like right now, naturally Ika would come over to check what the fuss is about. And this place is a minefield. That expression on Ika's face gave me the shivers. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that Sumigu is persistent. <laughs> that is such a sneaky move. And to add it to the list of services, all oh my days. That's super cool. Um, so yeah, uh, it seems like every heroine already has interest in me before the start of, like, it's usually you build interest in these things by choice, but they all seem to have interest, so this is a little bit of a weird situation. It makes for a funny situation, though, so um, that's one kind of like enjoying going through this because it's new it's, it's a newish sort of scenario um so yeah uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video that would certainly motivate me to make more videos and yeah thanks for watching hopefully see you in the next episode <laughs>